This discussion is about an amazing fact. The amazing fact is that the best students, the finest students, the most brilliant students in today's world, when it comes to memorization skills, are Japanese students. Behind this amazing fact is an amazing tool. My interest in this amazing tool arose many years back when a student of mine moved to Japan along with his family. When he came to India on a vacation, he explained to me how Japanese children become memory masters. His own children, his own son and his own daughter were memory masters and they gave me a spectacular demonstration of their memorization skills. There are plenty of 10-year-old children in Japan who can add, say, four 14-digit numbers in a matter of seconds or add, say, 54-digit numbers in a matter of seconds or carry out similar amazing mental feats. Such phenomenal performance cannot be matched by children from the United States or children from India for that matter. Why is it that Japanese children are able to carry out such spectacular mental feats? The Soroban is the Japanese abacus. The abacus came to Japan most probably in the 14th century from China. I will not be surprised if the abacus came to China from India. For there are ancient Indian texts which refer to or at least allude to the abacus. The Sauraban has a number of rods, the number always being an odd number. The number of rods could be seven, it could even be 31, or it could be a number between seven and 31, such as 21 or 23 for that matter. The rods of beads, one bead having the value of five and four beads having the value of one each. Every set of beads on every rod is divided by a bar called the reckoning bar. The dot marks every third rod in the soroban and these rods are the unit rods. The Soroban is the secret weapon behind the phenomenal mental feats attained by Japanese students. The advantages of using the abacus are numerous. First of all, it can make the student a math and magician or at least a magician when it comes to carrying out basic arithmetic calculations, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. The use of the abacus teaches the lesson, teaches the great lesson of concentration to the student. It enhances the overall 
brain development of the student. It boosts the confidence of the student, at least the confidence with regard to numbers, with regard to the basic arithmetic calculations. It sows in the mind of the student a passion for numbers. Above all, it is a very inexpensive tool. Like anything else, the abacus has its own disadvantages. First of all, you have to catch them young. Catch them young and watch them grow. You have to start early. The abacus is brilliant when it comes to children, but not so brilliant when it comes to adults. The abacus demands tremendous effort. Students have to practice several hours every day without fail. The soroban easily fits into Japanese culture, but it may not fit so easily into other cultures, into, especially into Western cultures which prize individualism or so-called individualism and freedom or so-called freedom. To top it off, the abacus is not suitable for advanced mathematical calculations. The abacus is excellent for carrying out the basic arithmetic calculations, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, but it is not of much use beyond that. For example, for carrying out algebraic calculations. Can't we adopt it? The answer to this question, at least in my opinion, is yes, is an emphatic S. We can and we must adopt the abacus and abacus training should begin at the earliest possible stage. As soon as a child learns to count from one to hundred, the child should start abacus training. Abacus training is capable of bringing a very welcome revolution in our school education.